Hi you guys, another quick video on the Samsung Galaxy S6 series. I'm going to share with you in this video a few uh, tips and tricks that I've picked up with my uh, S6 Edge. Uh, a few tips that hopefully uh, will make using your S6 or your S6 Edge a bit more enjoyable if you've used features on uh, phones you've had in the past. One of the main bugbears i found with the uh, S6 Edge, it's a fantastic phone, don't get me wrong, everything's uh, rapid quick about it, there's nothing uh, really that I dislike too much about it. Apart from a few features that Samsung have implemented that uh, I'm not overly happy with. Now the first feature may not seem like a big thing, but if you go into your app drawer, none of your icons in the app drawer are in alphabetical order. Now for me, this is a, it is, it's not a biggie, but it's, it's an, an annoying feature in as much as if you're looking for an application and you were used to going in alphabetical order and scrolling through to find an application, you can no longer do that. Now, some people have reported on certain forums that they have within their app drawer another A to Z icon at the top, and I've got nothing on my international uh, SIM-free uh, Galaxy S6 that I've got directly from Samsung. The only option I've got is edit at the top corner. So if I go edit, it gives me the option to uninstall icons, uh, applications, I should say. Uh, now for me, if I go in the app drawer and they're not in alphabetical order, I, I would prefer them to be that way just for ease of use and uh, finding different applications quickly, especially when you build up a quite big library of applications. May not be a big thing, but I'm going to show you how to get around that. The second thing that's been widely reported, and it's, it's getting more and more reported, it may get changed by Samsung, but at the moment, due to a recent update, Samsung have taken the ability to use Google Now from any screen. Uh, I find on my particular device it doesn't actually work from the home screen either. I've got the Google uh, Now uh, widget there at the top of the screen and if I go OK Google you can see nothing happens at all. OK Google, nothing happens. So if I scroll across to my uh, Google Now cards and I click on this screen and I scroll down and you can see the widgets at the top again and I go OK Google you can see it works fine from that screen. But that's the only place I can use it from, so I can't use it from any other screen, even if I put the Google uh, icon, which is on my home screen above the calendar and clock, it doesn't work. What I found uh, was going down the route of uh, putting different launchers on and trying them and wondering whether the Google Now uh, launcher would actually work in uh, situations on all screens for using Google Now. So we'll quickly go and press the home button and you can see I've not got anything set as default at the moment so we'll go to Google Now Launcher and we'll go just once for the purposes of this video and we'll let it populate uh, the screens. Give it a second to load into memory. And you can see straight away I've got it pretty much set up the same as I've got it on uh, my Samsung Launcher. The only difference being on the left hand screen we've got a full uh, Google Now pane instead of a few tiles. And you can see that the, the Google Now search uh, launcher, or the widget I should say, is, is on every single screen. It comes this way in uh, the Google Now launcher. So we'll, we'll go to the far right screen and I'll go, OK Google. And you can see it works from that screen. We'll go on to the next screen. OK Google. You see it's working fine there. Go on to the next one. OK Google. See it's working fine there. OK Google. Weather for my location. So you can see it's working from every screen. The added advantage by putting the Google Now Launcher on, you can have it pretty much exactly the same as you've got your TouchWiz Launcher. You can have similar icons at the bottom, you can have it set out exactly the same. For me, I actually prefer the layout of the uh, Google Now Launcher. More so because now Samsung have gone the lollipop route and they've got their actual TouchWiz launcher set up pretty much exactly the same. So you've not got the perpetual scroll that you had before, so that's been taken away. You've got to go right across to the right of the screen and back to the left to get from screen to screen, so there's not much difference there. Uh, the added advantage for me is when you go into the app drawer, you've got the stock uh, Google lollipop drawer. But if you take a look, we go to the first screen, you can see they're all in alphabetical order. So we've got D, E, F, G, and so forth, right the way through to the last screen, which will end up in YouTube, which is why. So if you want to find anything, it's really, really easy to do. Now, there's going to be a few people out there saying, well, okay, you've put the Google Now launcher on, but I've still got the TouchWiz uh, icons at the bottom. Go along to the App Store and download this app, Icon Changer uh, Free. So we'll click on the app. I'll put a link and it's icon changer free. Get that app, click on the screen once you've installed it. 
go to the App Store previous to installing this and download any icon pack you want. Uh, any icon pack will work for Nova Launcher, Apex, any other launchers. So when you want to find the icon you want to change, what it does, it actually makes a shortcut to this icon, pretty much how you would do on a, a MacBook or a, a Windows computer. So you're making a shortcut, you're not actually getting rid of the icon altogether, which is a good thing in some ways because it could uh, actually nobble your system if you wanted to revert to uh, your older system. So we'll find the phone icon, which will be obviously under pay. And we'll scroll down so we find it. And you can see there's the TouchWiz uh, phone icon. So I'll click that. And I want to change that now to the standard lollipop icon, which is pure Android. So we'll click on the icon and we'll click on change. And I've got a few icon packs installed. So I'll go icon pack and the icon pack you want, if you want pure lollipop, you want lollipop HD theme. Download that from the uh, app store. If I click on that and you can see all these are basic uh, lollipop icons. So I want to change it to the standard phone icon. I want to keep the name as phone. So I'm going to go OK. And you get some advertising while it uh, changes the icon over. You can see a, a bar at the bottom and you can say shortcut to phone added to home screen. So you back out of this and on your home screen now you'll see a shortcut to your phone. So what you basically do, you take your other shortcut that's on the screen at the bottom and you remove that at the top. Like I say, it's not going to take it out of your app drawer and it's not going to remove it totally. You're just creating a mirror image with a different uh, style, a different uh, picture. So you put that on uh, the bottom of your wherever you want to move it to on your app drawer. You can do the same with your contacts. Everything you want to change over, you can do the same. If I click on it, I'll quickly get out of that so you can't see any numbers. But you can see straight away I can get into my phone book and I can get into my phone uh, as normal. Now just to show you that the icon hasn't totally been changed, if we go into the app drawer, and obviously we can do it by alphabetical order, so I can scroll across to P, and get to P, and you can see the phone icon still there, so the original icon is still there, and if I clicked on that it would open it just the same. So obviously the icons in your app drawer are going to be uh, as they were before, but that's not a biggie really because most of your icons you're going to be using on uh, your home screens. Uh, so that's basically how I've got around a couple of niggles that I've got. Google now on any screen. OK Google. And you can see it's working there. And also for me having my app drawer in alphabetical order. Now a few of you will be asking how it relates to battery use to memory use. I've To be honest it's very very light using uh, the Google now launcher. It doesn't take a lot of system resources doesn't appear to be using any more RAM than uh, the standard TouchWiz launcher and as you can see the only thing you can't do is the standard clock uh, widget that Samsung use you won't be able to use that for some reason a lot of the other widgets that Samsung have are in the uh, widget drawer but particular, this particular one isn't so I'm using uh, one weather launcher which I prefer anyway because it gives an instant link to your alarm clock gives an instant link to your weather and which the Samsung one doesn't do anyway so anyway, like I say, uh, if this has been helpful for you, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, I'll share it in a few forums, subscribe to my channel, and when I get some more useful videos that I can get out to you, I'll get them out to you as soon as I can. Again, thanks for watching.